What if you could get a perfect one minute summary of all the emails in your Gmail inbox delivered right to your phone as a WhatsApp message? So it's like your personal assistant telling you, okay, you have this person waiting for a reply or there is this exciting opportunity waiting for your collaboration or that your insurance is expiring or that a client has finally paid your invoice. Well, that's exactly what we are building today inside of N8 and I'm going to show you step by step of how you can create your own personal AI agent that connects to your Gmail, identifies your top most important emails and generates a brilliant summary of them for you and it will send you a WhatsApp message briefing you on what is important. This agent is smart enough to tell you the exact status of each conversation like whether you have already replied to an email or if you are waiting on a response or if there are any pending actions that needs your immediate attention. So enough talk, let's fire up N8 and get to building. All right, now that we are inside N8, this is our workflow. So it all starts with the WhatsApp trigger on the left. The WhatsApp trigger will be listening to your WhatsApp chats. And whenever you ask it to fetch all of your important emails, this trigger gets activated and it moves on to the Gmail node. The Gmail node then accesses all of your top 15, 20 emails. It depends on the limit that you set inside this node. If you open up this node, you can see that we have set the limit to 10. You can go ahead and set the limit to 15 20 or more than that so for testing purposes i have currently set it to 10 you can set it to how much ever you want so once you get a list of emails then you move on to the set node so what this set node basically does is it will condense all of these emails into one single request which then gets framed as a prompt so once you have the prompt ready then it moves on to summarization the summarization is handled by ai so in this case i am using gpt5 for summarizing the emails you can see that the prompt which we prepared on the previous step gets added here in the prompt and this would be set as a user prompt and we'll also be setting a system prompt as well so this is the system prompt that we are giving so basically we are assigning a role for our ai assistant and this is how it should start its message so let's tweak it a little bit hey mithun here uh here's a tldr of your email inbox or something like that we can get creative and here we are asking it to identify and group all unique conversation threads without omitting any of it and for each thread we are asking it to create a main bullet point and also sub bullets that are two to three sentences long and the first sub bullet should provide a comprehensive summary of the conversation's context the history and goals and the final sub bullet would give us context as to what is the current status of this conversation and what are the recent updates or any action items are pending from your side it will give you all of that and here we have a final section once all of that is summarized we have a final section titled as key takeaways under this we'll have a overall comprehensive summary across all the emails just summarizing the key important points once again and that is all there is to the system prompt and we can go back to the canvas so once we have the email summarized the final step would be sending the whatsapp message back to the user so let's test this workflow out and see how well it performs so i'm gonna click on execute workflow and as you can see the whatsapp trigger is currently listening to our whatsapp inbox so let's try sending a message from there and as you can see i'm currently on whatsapp i'm gonna ask my ai agent to get me all of my important emails and i'm gonna press enter and you can see that the workflow is in action it's currently fetching the emails now it's moved on to summarizing it so let's go back to whatsapp and see what we'll get all right now we have a response from our workflow and it says hey mithun here's a tldr of your email inbox and and as you can see it has neatly formatted all the important emails and here's an email about ui ux mockups as you can see it has given us each of the important emails and also given us a nice little summary that we can just skim through uh when you're on your phone you don't have to read through all of your emails and to understand what's happening and as we requested in the system prompt it has given us the latest context regarding this email thread and as we can see we plan to discuss the mobile search bar placement in our sync up tomorrow and we can see that there's a meeting reschedule confirmation here and the latest on that is that the meeting is confirmed for 2 p.m today and there is an invoice reminder from alex okay we even have the order number as well and the latest on that is that alex is awaiting response on the invoice payment and as you can see it has summarized the top 10 
emails because I have set the limit to 10. You can go for like 20 or 30 or 50 emails or how much ever you want. What you can see here towards the end, they have given a key takeaways section as we requested. So it gives you the top three action items and you can just go ahead and take action on these on priority, right? Okay, now I'll walk you through all of these nodes real quick and explain what's happening inside of them. So this WhatsApp trigger, as I explained earlier, is the first starting point. It will listen to your WhatsApp inbox. So in order to add this, all you have to do is go here, click on plus, search for WhatsApp. And under that, you can click on WhatsApp Business Cloud. And you can see that there's a section here called triggers. Click on that. And there are different types of triggers. And we'll be using an on messages trigger. Click that and it gets added to the canvas. And if you're wondering how to set up credentials for the WhatsApp note, you can see that we have set up credentials here earlier. So this is explained in my previous video on WhatsApp API. And I will link that video in the description it's pretty much straightforward and you can just set it up in 10 minutes it's easy just follow the video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments so once you do that the next node is the gmail node it's the same you'll have to go here search for gmail you have to select this instead of the gmail tool click on this you get different message actions for the gmail tool so here we'll be choosing get many messages because we are trying to fetch all of the messages but if you are for example to delete uh, email you'll have to select on this or if you want to send a response email back to the user you'll have to add this node here send a message and there's also one more send message node which is send message and wait for response so since here we are fetching the emails in our inbox we'll select this the get many messages node and it gets added here and the next step would be adding a set node so as i explained earlier the set node so as i explained earlier all this set node does is take all of the 10 10, 15 20 emails that gets outputted here and combine them into one single unit which gets sent as a prompt to this open ai node which is next in the line so in order to add an open ai node Again, you'll have to come here, click on plus, you search for open AI and you get a couple of options here. You'll have to click on the first one and under that you'll get the option to message a model. Click on that and it gets added here. And once it's added, the settings are pretty simple. As I explained earlier, you have to give a system prompt here and you'd also be give a user prompt, which is the prompt that we'll be receiving from the set node. And apart from that, you'll have to select your LLM model uh, i had earlier used gpt5 but you can go for a simpler model which consumes less number of tokens as this is a slightly simpler use case and apart from that there isn't much to change here uh, you would need an open ai credential which i've explained in my previous video on n8 and basics about how to set it up i will also be linking that in the description and there is one setting you need to configure inside the set node which is to click on execute once because we don't have to go through each of these emails all of the emails are combined and one single prompt is generated for the ai as you can see the entire summary here is stored inside this field which we have set here which is a string so the final part of the puzzle would be setting up a connection with your gmail account so in order to do that you open up the gmail node and just like how we set up credentials for everything else you'll have to come here set up a credential for gmail and you can see that i've already established a credential you'll need the client id here the client secret and the oauth redirect url you'll have to paste it on to gcp so i'm gonna show you how you can do that i'm gonna go to google cloud console so i'm inside google cloud console so this is the project that i'm currently working on if you have any doubts regarding google cloud console you can just refer the n8 and basics video that i'll be linking in the description it has a detailed explanation on how you can can set up the OAuth, the client ID, how you can set up the API keys for different Google services, how you can enable different Google APIs, all that you can find here. So in order to enable the Gmail API, you can just search here for Gmail and you can see that the first result would be the Gmail API. You go there. Once you are here, you will get a button here to enable the API. Since I've already enabled it, I'm seeing manage. So once you click on manage API, 
you can just come over here click on clients and you can see that i have currently created two auth clients already so one is for the google sheets connector and the second is for gmail connection if you are new here and you want to create a client you can click on this button i'll just walk you through how you can do that click on create client and you can set the application type as web application so i'm gonna name this something like innate test gmail so this is the application name that I'm giving and the authorized redirect URIs. You can just click here. You'll get this from N8. So let's copy that from N8. Once you are inside N8, you can copy the OAuth redirect URL here. Just copy that. Go back to GCP and we'll paste the URL here. And once you click on create, you'll get a pop up saying that the OAuth client is created. You'll have the client secret and the client ID both displayed here. And just copy that and paste that in N8. So once you are in N8, copy the client ID here. The client secret here so once you do that you will get the option to sign in with google just click on that and once you complete the sign in process you will have a message here saying account is created just close this and now we'll have our gmail credentials set up open this and you can select your gmail credential here and under operation you'll have to select get many because we are trying to receive many emails from our inbox and under this search query you will have to add a query like will you only be needing the emails that are unread or is important and that are from me this query is important for fetching the right emails you don't want to fetch un like promotional or spam emails or emails that aren't that important and once that is done your gmail node is set up so this is all you have to do and your system should work fine i wouldn't call this an ai agent because we haven't used an ai agent node here but we can can call this an AI powered workflow that would be the right term to use in this case and this is just the beginning as I pointed out I'm currently building on top of the system where you can also reply to these emails via whatsapp so now you have a summary and you can pick any one message out of that and tell the agent via whatsapp okay let's reply to this person let's confirm the meeting on Wednesday and let, let's reply to Alex saying that we'll be paying the invoice by the end of today so we can list all of these replies one by one and a single line your ai agent can use all of these pointers and type in a fully fledged email in your tone and style and reply to each of these emails so that is what i'm planning on next to build and if you are interested in that build uh, please be subscribed i'll be sharing that soon as a new video so i hope you guys will try this out let me know in the comments if you're facing any difficulty in setting up if you have any doubt setting up gcp credentials or setting up google apis you can just refer to the N8 and basics video that I'll be linking in the description. I'll also be linking the WhatsApp credential setup video that I've done previously. Uh, try that out as well. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me via LinkedIn or my email. So I hope this was useful and I hope you'll be building this and trying this out. So let me know in the comments how that goes and I will see you on the next video. Take care.